Okay guys, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogmas. So my name is Romary and I make a lifestyle content here on YouTube. I don't even know what day it is. I think it's like day 15, 16, I don't know, 14. I have no idea, but we're somewhere in there. And while you're here, please do not forget to subscribe down below to join the fam. I've been mentioning a 2K giveaway quite frequently on my channel, so make sure to head over to my Instagram, follow me to enter the giveaway. The giveaway should be going live probably like this week or next week, it just depends on when the things get here that I ordered. I need to take a nice picture of everything for you guys, set it up all cute so that I can make the giveaway live. So in today's video, I have a bit of a different video for you guys. Um, just because I've gotten a lot of questions about this, a lot of people are wondering about slow feeders. So I thought I would explain that to you guys today and show you guys like a little demo of how it works just because I've gotten so many questions about it and people are wondering where I get her slow feeder, how it works, if it works, what does it do, like just everything. I'm gonna give you guys the down low on slow feeders. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. So I first wanna preface this video by saying a huge thank you to Pet Duro for sponsoring this video. They were kind enough to send me a brand new slow feeder that I've been loving and using every single day for Maui. So what I love about Pet Duro slow feeders is that they're modern, they're stylish, and they are super durable. It's very apparent compared to all of the other ones on the market, especially compared to Maui's old one. That one I just found at Target. No hate to it. it, it was a great slow feeder while I used it, but you can definitely tell a difference in quality for sure. These are by far the best and I have loved using it every single day. And what's super nice is that these have like a little like plastic thing at the bottom to help the bowl from moving around while the dog is eating. Because with Maui's last one, she would move that thing around everywhere and make a huge mess. But with Pet Duros, it stays in place and there is no mess made, which is super nice that you can find their products on Amazon. Hello, Prime. So you can get your new slow feeder in just a few days. And the slow feeder from Pet Duro comes in three colors. So you can go ahead and pick whatever color you want. I went ahead with white because I love of neutrals because it just goes along with the home. But the other colors are super fun and cute, so definitely check them out. So let's start off with why I use a slow feeder. So I primarily use a slow feeder because Maui used to eat so fast. In her regular little bowl, she would eat her food in like 30 seconds at least and be like burping and I could just tell it like was not good. It was like honestly kind of scary because like I read online like what happens if a dog eats too fast and then Pretty much what happens is like they can get bloat, which is life-threatening, or they can get indigestion and like just not have a healthy gut system. So I started to notice that pattern with Maui when I first got her is that she is so food motivated, just like a lot of other corgis. So it was really scary whenever I fed her in like a regular bowl. So I knew that I had to make a change right away. And that's how I found slow feeders. So slow feeders are bowls that usually have like a maze or some sort of pattern where you can put your pet's food and it's supposed to promote better eating. So help the pet eat slower, preventing indigestion, preventing blow, obesity, everything. So the benefit of using a slow feeder is unmatched. I have seen the biggest improvement from Maui using a slow feeder. It just really helps slow down her eating. It takes her around like two and a half to three minutes to finish her food. Whereas with like a regular bowl, she finishes it in seconds and she's like practically swallowing the food at that point. But the slow feeder forces her to kind of chew the food, like take her time with it, enjoy the food. So that is why I have loved using a slow feeder. So now that you guys know the down low on slow feeders, I wanted to do a demo for you guys so that you can see what it's like for Maui to use a slow feeder. I thought of doing a comparison between her regular bowl and then a slow feeder, but I'm honestly just scared because like <laughs> whenever I use a regular bowl, she swallows her food and like she's just burping afterward and I don't like it. It's really scary. So I'm just not going to do that for this video. I don't want to have to put her body and digestive system through more stress. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you a demo of what it looks like for Maui to use slow feeder. Hey guys, what is up? So I'm gonna give Maui her food in her bowl. So first I start out by breaking up Maui's food super well. That way she doesn't have any big chunks that she can just eat really quickly. I've found that the more you break it up, the longer they're gonna take to eat. And then once it's all broken up, I go ahead and serve it in her bowl and I make sure that it's all evenly spread out just because I don't want too much food in one area of the bowl because then it'll make it way easier for her to eat. And the goal is to make it difficult for them to eat while also tiring out their brain. Slow feeders are amazing for working dogs because it tires out their brain and they see it as a fun game to try to get some food. So once it is all spread out, I am ready to serve it up.
Maui walks away from her bowl, I know that she's done eating. And this is what her bowl looks like after she is done eating. As you guys can see, she leaves no food at all except for maybe like a speck or two, but it's practically empty. <music> So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing Maui eat out of a slow feeder and I hope that it gave you guys a little bit more clarity as to what slow feeders are, what they do, and why I use one. I know that a lot of you guys were wondering about slow feeders just because of the amount of questions I got in my DMs or in my comments and stuff. So I hope I was able to provide some clarity to you guys about slow feeders. I would recommend one to any pet parent whose dog just eats way too fast and needs to slow down a little bit. <laughs> but please do not forget to subscribe down below and join the fam and again a huge thank you to pet Dora for sponsoring this video i have loved the slow feeder it's amazing and i would recommend it to any pet parent out there but again thank you guys so much for watching this video i will catch you guys in tomorrow's vlog bye